bunch of you have heard before, but there are people here I haven't met yet until you haven't heard this story. A lot of us have skills that we bring into the STA, and some have skills that we bring from the STA into the real life. I'm a very, very healthy cadet. Now, back in the days when I was just Simon's student, we were driving to Mission, South Dakota. We were going to Colton Hill. Come on. So, he didn't get a chance to work on his lesson plan because he was working on his novel. So, we were driving out. I was driving his nice car. He was working on his lesson plan. We were chatting a little bit. Speed limit 70. I'm going 80. We're on 90. So, yes, I'm going 70. <laughs> I'm going 80 on a 70 on 90. And driving on a beautiful day, like today. Beautiful day. No other traffic. We were just sailing along, no big deal. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh. I almost had a no peak there. I was moment. So I pull over, hoping he's going to go past me. Alas, that was not meant to be, because he pulled in right behind me. I pull my wallet out and lay it on my lap, because in the SA, I'll mess with kings. I will not mess with cops, because kings may or may not give me jewelry. Cops can give me jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> bracelets. Yeah, the bracelets. Wonderful bracelets. Shine. Ring giver. Yeah, ring giver. There you go. Yeah. Um, so, nice. he walks up and he, I roll my window down. He says, license proof of insurance. I hand him my card. My license. I said, insurance. I mean, he has me one card. This is for such and such card. Oops, sorry, that's my wife. That's Donnie Marley. So we get him the correct one. Where are you going? I said, Mission South Dakota. Oh, going to go out hunting? Nope, go teach historical sword fighting. Uh. What? <laughs> <laughs> historical sword fighting. Little did I know, Simon was holding up the translation of the manual. Captain Pharaoh, by the way. <laughs> like this. With a woodcut from the Renaissance. Showing two naked guys one with a spear and the other with a sword. <laughs> to which the cop goes, Historical fencing. <laughs> to which the cop goes, Blink, blink, you don't see that every day. <laughs> now, I have an internal monologue going, and I think sometimes it would get me locked up if people could hear it. But in this case, I'm going, I go for friends. Yeah, you do. But again, remember, all mess with kings, but not cops. And I said, no, sir, you don't. <laughs> so he wandered back to his car. Eventually, he wandered back, gave me a piece of paper that said, gate, this is a warning. And I'm like, thank you, Sweet. sir. I'm like, I looked over at Simon as he walked away. I said, I just burned up a lot of good karma, didn't I? He goes, yes, you did. <laughs> of course, that is also the same weekend, because we were right on the border with Kalantir. We, a bunch of ranger fighters, went to Kalantir for beer, because that was the closest. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>